Hey guys, uh, quick heads up, I made a video about testosterone, this video is about estrogen, it's going to be even shorter. Estrogen is pretty much the opposite of testosterone, it's found mostly in women, men have it too. Some men have more than others, that's why they have man boobs and shit like that. But anyway, um, if you're building muscle, you want to keep your estrogen levels low, because testosterone and estrogen are on opposite sides of the scale. If you have high testosterone levels, you have low estrogen levels, which is good. If you have high estrogen levels, you have low testosterone levels, which is bad if you're trying to build muscle. They're not, you know, they can't both be high or both be low. It's one or the other. So another way to boost your testosterone levels, watch my testosterone video, is to decrease your estrogen levels. You want to decrease those levels. You want to eat broccoli and cauliflower, for example. Those nutrients, those um, those types of foods, you know, help the, the burning of estrogen. I'm not going to get into the details of split hairs, you know, just do the research. Um, well, it's ironic because I do the research for you, but... Um, yeah, just eat broccoli, cauliflower, stuff like that. They, they really help um, burn estrogen. And as your estrogen levels decrease, your testosterone levels have more room to grow and, you know, skyrocket. So, uh, yeah, as a bodybuilder or anybody who's trying to build on muscle, lower your estrogen levels. If you have man boobs or you have, like, like me, I have big nipples, which is a sign of, like, you know, I won't say high, but... It's estrogen, man. It's nasty. I don't like man boobs. You see this shit right here, man? It's not really a man boob yet, but it, it has room to become a man boob, which is bad. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. I don't want, I don't want man boobs. I have big nipples. I like small. A man should have small, fucking, smaller than mustard seed nipples. What is this? So, that way tells you I'm going to add a lot of cauliflower and, bro and, and broccoli to my diet to, you know, help facilitate the burning of estrogen. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna put a link. Actually, I'm not gonna put a link. Just, just, it's a short video, you know. You don't want high estrogen levels. I'm gonna keep it simple. There's a lot of other foods that help burning estrogen, but just focus on broccoli and cauliflower because they're high in fiber and all that, all that other stuff. And this should be in anybody's diet anyway. All right, take it. Easy.